Well guys, welcome back to Freak Fishing and welcome back to the seaside. So today it's something I am very excited about. We are going after the wrasse. Now if you've seen any of my videos from last year, um, if you haven't checked them out, they are unbelievable fighting fish. Ferocious, ferocious fighters. Big, big paddle tail. They literally dive down, you have to pull them back. And uh, they're actually quite good sport. They're quite easy to catch. Uh, they're not easy to catch in numbers or size. Um, or sorry in size but the uh, main thing I'm using today is the SG2 SGS2 all around the 35 gram rod I think it's 8 foot 3 so it does a good cast as well as uh, quite stiff for pulling the fish straight out of the the holes because they want to go dive straight down onto the rocks also I am um, going to use a jig head with probably the Savage Gear crawfish so there's the setup guys yeah, A3, 35 gram rod, the SGS8, 4000 size. This I need this for the power to pull them straight out of the rocks. And my trusty rock sock, as you know, I absolutely love. So uh, let's get moving. Nearly there. So just over the brow of this hill. And we'll um, be able to see what's the lay of the land like. Or see. It's, uh, it's quite a long walk over. So hopefully it's worth it. But yeah, look at we'll uh, we'll see what there is. John should be just over here. I was talking there a few minutes ago, and uh, he had nothing at that point. So fingers crossed we uh, find something. It's pretty nice. Water clarity looks beautiful. Amazing when you get round the headland, how much the water clarity can change. Now, is John here or not? Hmm, I can't see him. Let's have a look. Oh, there he is. There's the man himself. Little dart in the horizon there. He's hardly into one already, is he? No. So this is the Ned Craw, the Savage Gear Ned Craw, so uh, I have high hopes for it. I also have the, the Savage Gear Craw fish or the Rattle Craw, so hopefully if this doesn't produce the Rattle Craw will with the extra rattle. So, let's see who we can find. If you're ever ras fishing, that's what you're looking for. A deep gully that John literally just has a nice one there. So let's have a look. And just a deep gully, drop it straight down and literally tap. And I'd say it won't be long until you're into a fish here. There was one there. Oh, nearly, nearly. So it's literally just teased them. They seem to like it sitting on the bottom. So we'll just keep, I don't know if you can see that down there, but I'm going to bring it closer to uh, the kelp and see does that make a difference. So we had a bite there, we too actually. And this is what I love, the suspense you have when fishing for wrasse is just great. So all this is absolutely perfect for what we're doing. Deep gullies, shallow area, and then one deep gully. So 
I'm swapping out this for this. Reason being more flap and more action. And John is actually into another one. So uh, we need to pull our finger out. Right. I want to go in. Harden the pun, lads. Catch watch. Yeah. Yeah. Might be they, they'll come. I had a few bites and then nothing. Cheat a little bit and see can I make it into a bit of a prawn shape. Making it into a bit of a prawn shape. That is exactly where Ras would be. Sitting on a shallow reef with waves coming in top. It's a dead dolphin or porpoise. Want some food? You can see where it's been eaten away. Anyway. That's a deep gully there. You're using creature bait, aren't you? Yeah. Alright. Let's have a look. Let's see, is there anything up here? That is of any interest to me. Just had it. might give me first rass today. Big fella. Need the net around? Yeah. Woo -hoo. Yeah. That yes, <laughs> is a big, big rass. Right, the white net craw. It's a small or lower sort, it might just draw a bit more attention. Since Big Daddy was gone, no one else has gone up for it.
two hits. Oh, oh, yeah, by you. I'm off. Yeah, she's nearly as big as yours, John. Nearly. <laughs> right, and on hook. This should be. And they're usually good enough for going back. Just give it any sort of a. Oh, it's going. It's going, it's going. So that worked when I let it drop and let it sit on the bottom. That's a big one. That is a big one. <laughs> there we go. Another nice one. That's a better one. That is what I came for. A nice hard fighting ras on the Meg Cross. She absolutely annihilated it. So uh, let's keep moving and let's keep catching. Right, away we go. Fairly torn down now, so they have. It's a nice, it's a nice one this thing. It's a nice one. It's pulling some line. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's a very nice one. Come on, yeah, buddy, yeah, come on. Always when you're bringing it in, be careful the top of your rod. That's a nice one. Absolutely annihilated the Ned Craw. This is what I come down for. As you see, I had my 4000 reel tightened up to the last. This pair, this fish, this rash still pulled it as hard as it could and it's still dragged. So that's a powerful, powerful fish. So with that, we get her back. So as you can see guys, I'm only fishing along the rocks here. I'm fishing very, very close in. Just beyond the breaking wave. That's what these rats are fed, eat. They're feeding on all whatever's washed in. That's why they like a lure that's sitting. Because this is what they're looking for, they're waiting for something. Oh, another one, another one. Another nice one. <laughs> Go on, you buy ya. Look at that. Look at the teeth on them. Absolutely beautiful. Another beautiful fish. Let me just take it out.
the roof of their motors are so strong because they made the crushed shells, crushed lobsters, and obviously crushed small crustaceans. So let's see where else we can find out here. So I even stopped myself casting out because there's absolutely no point in going too far. Talk about fun. There is so much fun to be had with a light rod, 35 grams, not that light now, and uh, some creature baits. So the I didn't actually tell you, but uh, I'm using a 20 gram jig head. You do need heavier to feel your way through the rocks and boulders, especially when you're not weedless. But uh, this reel was tightened up a lot and it pulled and pulled that big fish. And that's exactly what I was looking for. That's exactly what you're looking for at Ras Fishing and that's exactly what I got. So with that guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I have to go back to the family now for a while, but I'm gonna head back out this evening. And um, I was only there for about maybe, maybe an hour and a half. And as you've seen, great sport, great action. But there's a deep gully I want to go to and it's not far from here. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna sort what I need and I'm going to come back and we are going to target that deep gully and as well as that there's lovely slopes into the water around that gully where the waves crash on come out and wherever the waves crash stop here just say below that is where all them rafts are and this is going to be perfect for it so thanks for watching guys let me know what else you want to see let me know what you think and hit that like button because it really really helps and we we'll see you then